definitely don't shout <laughs> see that's what either i speak low <laughs> so with shri i keep telling her to speak up <laughs> and uh, so she either whispers or she shouts ಇಡ್ಲಿ <laughs> 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 Hi folks welcome to a new vlog or a new vlog series actually the boss is with me hi hi everybody and uh, we are on our way to mysuru we've picked a rainy day to get out of namma bengaluru it's pouring cats and dogs and we are also a little late it's about 10 in the morning so the agenda to be in mysuru is just a bit of r and r just uh, take a break from bengaluru and needless to say we got to film as we go along we got to try and capture uh, the overall flavor of our experience be it our travel be it where we are staying and of course the food and the general vibe and sights etc so so yeah that's what is being planned in this vlog series i hope you enjoy it uh, we're just about uh, fighting through a bit of traffic to get out of bengaluru uh, we are uh, now on karakapura road heading towards nice road it always helps to uh, leave early but uh, today was one of those days where we couldn't uh, we are on the 29th of august uh, it's a monday and yesterday was a very busy sunday just had to get that 6 odd hours of sleep before we uh, drove out uh, shri what are your thoughts about oh, this trip i'm really looking forward to this mysore trip the reason being uh, dashara is around the corner hmm so you know usually you know like uh, people like to go to uh, mysore during dashara time to see all the celebrations so just that time it is the very uh, busiest place mm. so just before that i just want to go check out some of the places whatever childhood memories i had in mysore like vrindavan gardens and the chamundi hills you know like all these places i just want to go and mm. you know just see and have a good time so that's the agenda just to go to mysuru and uh, have a good time like shri says whenever i've done mysuru trips it's always been uh, on a food sort of a journey so it's always checking out one food place to the next so there will be some food in this trip as well but it's going to be a part of the overall experience so that's what we're going to try and uh, bring to you in this vlog in this vlog series uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as we do bringing it to you we are about 1 hour 54 minutes from our breakfast stop i don't really know what comes next i'm just doing my best even though i'm so stressed out everything just feels like a test that i fail so thankfully we've reached nice road so i think it's going to get smoother from now on yeah, definitely see speak up definitely Don't shout. <laughs> See, that's what. Either I speak low. <laughs> so with Shri, I keep telling her to speak up, <laughs> and uh, so she either whispers or she shouts. So, anyway, so we are on. Definitely. Uh, yes, that's better. When you're filming, you can't be on normal sort of volume, because if you're on normal volume, nobody will hear. Correct. So you got to be able to project that voice a little outward. the way let's say i would speak in this vlog if you were to meet me in a uh, normal sort of scenario i wouldn't be speaking you know with that volume or let's say with that emphasis on words and things like that but anyways let's not get technical about it so just hit a uh, nice road things should get a lot smoother from here at least uh, that's the hope definitely i think now you're stuck like a record now uh it's going to go faster that's what i meant good at least i'm glad that even your voice is getting louder do i have a choice do you want to be step 4 everybody just do your thing wake up today's going to be a good day wake up today's going to be a good day wake up today's going to be a good day wake up today's going to be a good day wake up today's going to be a good day wake up today's going to be a good day wake up sir where are you 
I just got out of Nice Road onto Mysore Road. The cops were saying that further up the cars are getting yeah, sir. It, it, it's raining heavily that side. Overnight it has rained a lot on this route, so they are diverting traffic. So I was just speaking to one of the owners of uh, uh, of the eateries, and he wasn't sure about the road conditions on route. So this is going to be, I think this drive to Mysuru is going to be a bit of an adventure. Hopefully not too eventful as well. Huh? Yeah. Keeping the fingers crossed. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. So because of the rains, they have blocked parts of the new highway. So we are going on the old highway. शशि तटे दूर इंदूल the road is blocked towards uh, ramnagar we have to just probably do a quick breakfast here at birdi and then take the another route to go to mysuru i love the daily so we were supposed to go somewhere else but uh, because of the situation so we are here now at uh, shri shiva darshan shashi tatte idli in birdi in fact i've done an episode on that uh, i'm going to place a link in the description below if you haven't caught it yet so let's do a quick breakfast before we find a way to mysuru dani dani pe likha hai khane wale kan so we were supposed to go there we were discussed so many things this we will eat that we will eat finally <laughs> Some good that day, Lee. Yeah. Yesterday, almost thirty to forty cars came, sir. Just telling your name. That's yeah. I called you to say thanks. Thank you. That's my wife. Yeah. So we said, okay, let's do a quick breakfast here, and uh, we are on our way to Mysore. Come down to thirty to forty percent. Because of the rains. Because of the rain and they opened the new road. One double kodi, one single that day, Lee, what I got? No, no, I have one only. Huh? I have one only. One only. Sure. Yeah, first you have sir. So I need to a single that day, Lee, what I got? This is the softest that day, Italy. Yeah, it uh, is. It is. Mm. Very good. Really, really soft. Uh. Really nice. The first time I'm eating this. Ah, uh. this is that day, Italy. That probably is the softest that day, Italy. The batter is just right, right? The fermentation. This is a tate idli that's as light as a cloud. And then all that bendy, all that butter. One more tate idli. Thank you very much. To watch more of the Sashi Tatte Idli vlog, you should catch the Gourmet on the Road episode. I'll post a link to it in the description below. You know that palya is very nice. Will you try the palya? Yeah. This is a super. Yeah. The podi idli. Super. Yeah. This is very good stuff. Yeah. Unexpected. Breakfast is also. Very nice. Mm. Something different, not you know expected. This I'm glad you know mm. they diverted the traffic and we came here. Papa lemon rice na. Ina la, beda. In beda. Taste yon papa. Ina. Beda. Thank you very much. Ina man papa try mani sa. Gi puri dia. Give you water. The gi puri. La la da quarter. What about that? No. That kempu chutney is sakat kara. It's quite the spicy bomb. I think also what's happened is because of the new highway coming up. Sir, la chana ja. 
ಜೂಬರ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದು ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಹಾಕಿ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ನೋ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂ ಹೈವೇ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾಫಿಕ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಬಿಡ್ದಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಡೌನ್ ಡ್ರಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಞೂ ಆ ಚಟ್ನಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಖಾರ ಇದೆ ವಿ ಸ್ಪೈಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಾರ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಅದಟ್ ಪಲ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಜೆಂಟು ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಸಾಗು ಟು ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ವ್ ಯು ಇನ್ನೂ ಸಾಗು ಇಸ್ ನೈಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಎಸೈಡ್ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ನೈ ಇವನ್ ವಿದ್ ದ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಯಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪೋಡಿ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಬರೀ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಹಾಂ ಸಾಕು 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 ಚಿತ್ರಾನ್ನ ಎರಳಿಕಾಯಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಹಾಂ ದೊಡ್ಡದು ಹಾಂ ಓಕೆ ಚಟ್ನಿ ಪುಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಗ್ರಿ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಕೆಂಪು ಚಟ್ನಿ ಚಟ್ನಿ ಸ್ಪೈಸಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹೀಟ್ ಇದೆ because of the fact that the traffic has now been diverted to the new highway so perhaps they don't have as many customers as they would have before but it's good to see that the quality of the food is still very good it's still up there now the vade i'll have tea coffee or nine nimsha bitto that vade is excellent ಮಸಾಲ ವಡೆ ಕಾಫಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಇದು ನಿಮ್ಮದು ಕಾಫಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಚಿಕ್ಕರಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇದೆ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಚಿಕ್ಕರಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ನಾನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ earlier this place was packed with cars but today it's all empty he says business is down by 30 40% but he says that even yesterday he had about 30 40 cars that came saying that they saw the video the food lovers tv video and they came so he says when business was good and people were coming but didn't realize that much but now that business is low and people are coming here and saying they saw the video and came we felt uh, thankful but uh, if you happen to be on this route i think this uh, birdi shashi tatte idli is an absolute must stop the last time around i came here i shot an episode and today i just walked in very impromptu but even then the idli is absolutely a 10 on 10 yeah. and today we also tasted the podi idli the podi tatte idli which was also good and then also the chitranna made with eralekai eralekai which is basically the big lemon that too was very good the vade and that chutney that kempu chutney that they do here it's a spicy chutney it's got a bit of sourness so good so definitely a must stop if you are on this route after breakfast now we are taking an alternate route to get to mysuru we thought first the new highway was blocked and so we took the old highway and now even the old highway is blocked near ramnagar so there's plenty of water that's collected severe flooding we were going to take the an alternative route which basically goes via kanakapura malwali bannur before finding our way to mysuru you okay about that yeah don't have a choice right so and also now that your tummy is full yes. she was very happy with the, you know what her favorite food is idli idli and uh, so she was very happy with the tatte idli so the map says 2 hours 52 minutes to get to maybe we'll be staying in mysuru let's enjoy the drive
required of course the odd towns that you cross but other than that it's a very scenic route and so originally we thought we'll be at the hotel around 2:30 right mm -hmm. but now it's 2:30 only yeah. so yeah, yeah we should be at the hotel by 2:27 literally picked up the pace so not withstanding the deviations on account of the flooding we've managed to make some good time so just about 60 kilometers away from mysuru in a place called malavalli this is also close to a place called bandur which is the home of the bandur sheep a gi tagged species of sheep that's found only in this part of karnataka and that's why it's called the bandur kuri in fact i have an episode on the bandur mutton that comes from the bandur kuri or the bandur sheep on gormi on the road if you haven't caught it yet i'm going to place a link in the description below do take a look if that catches your fancy for now straight to mysuru Mysuru, nice and sunny. Welcome to Mysuru. Welcome to Mysuru, indeed. And uh, good drive. Yeah. Uh, good drive. Not bad at all. Left at ten, and we are here in Mysuru at two thirty. With half an hour break. Not with starting all the diversions. So, if you want the scenic route, I think take the Malwali Bannu route. It's a heritage city, right? That's the palace there. I think in the evening they have like a light show. I think it's only on Sundays. Someone told me. Uh, I might be wrong also. I don't know. You know, this city reminds me of what Bengaluru was 25 years ago. <laughs> That is what I like about Mysore. Like how Mumbai Pune is. It's like that, you know, Bangalore Mysore. Yeah. Mumbai is always busy, busy, but Pune has that, uh, you know. Uh, slightly but i think it's changed now but i think mysuru still has that very laid back sort of a yeah. vibe which is what is charming about mysuru Thank you. 